Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. As you can see behind me, I have a pretty big grocery shawl, grocery haul to share with you guys today. It's been two weeks today since I last did groceries, so we did need a lot of stuff. If you guys um, watched my pantry challenge that went up last Wednesday, you'll see that our fridge is empty. We really needed a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna show you everything now. I have this table full as well as all this stuff behind me. Um, the stores were not too crazy. They're a bit more stocked up in the grocery stores than they were last time I went into the store. The craziest part was just waiting in line to get into the store and again, waiting in a huge lineup um, at the checkout. The shelves themselves were fairly stocked um, and I found almost everything I needed. I didn't get any um, frozen berries. That was the one thing my store was out of. I'm gonna try to make these groceries last two weeks once again. I don't know if they quite will um, and if they don't, it's for one reason. It's that um, they had a limit of two dozen eggs per household, which we could easily eat two dozen eggs in one week. Um, so I don't know, we might have to go back to the store and get some more eggs before the two weeks are up. But other than that, I found what I wanted. I don't think I said yet, I spent $300. But if that lasts us two weeks, that's actually a really good price for our family of seven. So without further ado, here's what we got. We'll start with the table and all this produce. I'm so glad that we're gonna have so much produce again. Um, I went to Real Canadian Superstore, which is a store here in Canada I don't usually shop at. I usually go to Walmart, but there are a few things that I really like about Real Canadian Superstore and I'll share those with you um, in a minute. So first off, we got milk. I got three bags of 2% milk. Um, almond milk, it's kind of ironic because they had some items that they had a limit on two, a limit of two on, and then they had other items that were like, save if you buy at least two. So almond milk was one of those. Like if you buy at least two, you can get them for, I think it was 360 maybe. So I got two of those. Um, I got one lactose free milk and then a carton of whipping cream as well and also a carton of our half and half cream. This was another one of those, buy two and save. Um, we already have one in our fridge and I only bought one. I got two of these um, just plain yogurt. We like to have plain yogurt with maple syrup or with fruit or with granola, so I got two of those. They're like the, a good sized tub. Um, I got one of these um, big tubs as well of cottage cheese and then two of the small tubs of sour cream. Last um, grocery haul, I showed you that I had bought some butter and um, as I was using up that butter, I was like, this butter does not get very hard. It's kind of nice. Like I can pull it out of the fridge and I can spread it right away. We were almost through the second block before I realized that it was a block of margarine. So weird. I've never seen it sold like that and I thought it was butter. Um, anyways, this time, this is real. <laughs> butter. Oh, um, I got two blocks of cheese and then of course my two dozen eggs. I would have gladly got like four dozen eggs, but I understand um, that we need to do limits, but I'll probably need to go back and get more before too long. One nice thing at Superstore is that they sell these, um, they're called naturally imperfect uh, produce. So this is, I want to say five pounds. Is it five pounds? Maybe it's 10 pounds. How much is this? Okay, five pounds. Five pounds of apples. Um, they are humongous apples, but they, um, I think it was $5 for five pounds. Lettuce is ridiculously expensive right now. $5 for these three heads. Asparagus was on sale. So I got three bunches of asparagus. We really like that roasted. Green beans, we haven't had fresh green beans since probably last summer, so I was excited to get those. Four bunches of bananas. Their choices of bananas was not great. Um, some of these are not, ugh. I tried to get them green, but some of the green ones were kind of bruised. So I did get four bunches though, and whatever is not good to just eat, we'll put in smoothies. Okay, this is another thing I love at Superstore. Um, they sell these bags of naturally imperfect sweet potatoes, which I find kind of funny because sweet potatoes are one of the least uniform veggies you can possibly find. So I don't even think that these are much different. I mean, maybe a little bit, like see that? Just a little bit awkward to peel maybe but really they're hardly different than just buying them um, like regular, but they are 
they come in bags of 10 pounds for five bucks. So um, super good price for sweet potatoes. So I got two of those bags, so 20 pounds of sweet potatoes. I did get a bag, 10 pounds of um, just the white potatoes as well. I can't forget to show you the oats. So I got two bags of large flake oats. Again, the naturally imperfect carrots. So let me come over here. Some of the carrots are just broken but they, they sell them at a good price because they think that if they, if they put them on the regular shelves of um, produce, they wouldn't get picked. So that's one nice thing at Superstore is all their naturally imperfect veggies and fruits. I did get some spinach, some onions, two cantaloupes. Uh, cabbage was, I think, 50 cents a pound. So I got a huge, I don't know how much this weighs, but that is a heavy cabbage. I should check how much it actually costs to buy that one head of cabbage. Um, and then they had cucumbers, three for three dollars. So good price at this time of year for cucumbers. And then I just got a few tomatoes. So that's all of our produce and dairy completely filling up this table. And then over here, I got quite a few little snacky foods to fill up our pantry. So some peanut butter sandwich crackers, some Triscuits. They changed the look of the Triscuit boxes. Um, a box of these Breton knockoffs, uh, some Teddy Grahams, animal crackers, pretzels, sweet chili heat Doritos, some Tostitos. We have some uh, taco soup in the freezer, so I wanted to get some taco chips so that we can have um, those with our taco soup when I pull it out of the freezer, and then some party mix as well that I think we're going to have for a games, not a games night, a movie night tonight. Um, some jam. So I like this jam. It's the twice the fruit jam. So it's a more natural jam, less sugar and additives and more just fruit. So I got raspberry and triple berry. We have been eating a lot of rice lately, so I wanted to just get a bit more rice. We got some tomato sauce, some diced tomatoes, and four cans of tuna. We also are just about out of cinnamon and raisins. We eat a lot of raisins. I also went to Bulk Barn and bought this big bag of peanuts and a big bag of almonds. I have some M&Ms in the pantry as well, so I'm gonna mix all these together and make a nice big um, trail mix for snacking on. I got four cartons of apple juice. I would usually buy more than this, but some of the things I was a little bit nervous to get too many of, um, and I know some things had a limit of two, so I thought, oh, I'll just get four. I didn't want to stock up too much, and I also got four um, cans of orange juice. We had this for lunch just a few minutes ago, but this is some salami I bought, and then also some ham for sandwich meat. Oh, one other thing I really like at Superstore. I don't know why, but our Walmart doesn't sell this, Costco doesn't sell this, no other grocery stores I go to sell this, but um, this is my favorite cereal. I thought I was gonna go to the English side. I guess this is English. Um, so, I don't eat cereal, like hardly ever at all, but if I ever do, this is my favorite cereal by far. So it's these oatmeal squares, um, maple and brown sugar. Oh, such a good cereal. So I got two boxes of that. I actually pulled three off the shelf and then I put one back. I thought, I don't want anybody yelling at me that I'm getting more than two. Even though there wasn't a sign saying there's a limit, I was just like, uh, I'm just gonna play it safe. And then I also just got some Honey Nut O's. Um, this is really good for my toddler to snack on, so that's kind of why I picked up those Cheerios there. For the rest of our meat, I got a rack of ribs. I don't buy that often, but those are super good in the slow cooker. So nice, so yummy. Um, and I also got a turkey. This is a 10.76 kilogram turkey, humongous turkey. Um, we'll cook that up in the oven and then we'll have it for probably two or three meals and then the rest of it I stick in the freezer um, and we pull out to make like turkey pot pie or sandwiches or whatever. We like to cook up a turkey at Christmas, at Easter, um, and fill up our freezer with some of that meat. Have you guys ever cooked duck? Um, I think I've cooked duck once or twice before, not often, but we love it. If you wanna know what duck is like, it's basically like a chicken, that's only brown meat. Like it has none of the dry white meat. I know some people love white meat, but I love the dark meat. And a duck is basically just all dark meat. It's really yummy. So um, I got a duck. And then I also got some bread. So I got four loaves of this Dempster's bread, two lo loaves of this Country Harvest, and then one loaf of this bread that I really like. It's this um, naturally fermented, sprouted bread. So that is all that I bought. We'll see how long all that food um, lasts us. I didn't make a meal plan yet. I'm kind of going to do some reverse meal planning because I just didn't know what they would have in store and I thought I would rather um, buy, shop first, and then decide what to make for a menu afterwards rather than make it and then find that they were out of stock of stuff. Even though 
they were pretty stocked up, like I said. But I'm gonna sit down this afternoon and write down a meal plan. And um, I was gonna say one other thing that I like. Uh, the other thing I like about Superstore is they have a points reward system. If you're in the United States, this probably is all foreign to you because you don't know about PC, pl PC Plus points. But if you're Canadian, you know what I'm talking about. And they, um, Superstore does a points reward system. And so I have a card on my phone that I scan. I didn't know how much, how many points I would get from this purchase today, but I just looked at my receipt and I got 40,000 points from this purchase today. They must have had some really good promos going on. So 40,000 points, that's 40 bucks. So next time I do my grocery shopping, I'm gonna be able to get $40 off of my order um, just for the purchase I made today. So that's awesome. I always like getting cash back and cash off. I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and um, I will see you guys very soon again.